a car, two kids, and a wife. I'll probably be here for the rest of my life. I'm living on the island. When summer comes and winter falls, the island ladies go to shopping malls. Take daddy's credit card and charge it all. They're living on an island. I will live on Long Island. Oh, you know it's so much fun. I'm living on the island. I'm just basking in the sun. Hey, Andy, give me a vodka. Is that your Camaro? It's gorgeous. You know, I went to high school with Billy Joel. Wow. I go to Hampton's on Friday night. I party hardy with sunshine bright. And I'm sitting in traffic on Sunday night. I'm living on an island. And welcome to the Gagoot Show. I'm Nicole Lamonaco, and of course, this is Jeannie Powers. How are you? I'm good. How you are you? Stunning, as usual. With Thank your you. Glamour hair and your shoes. That <laughs> my match. glamour hair. Look at you with your pink hair. I, know, I wore my pink shoes to match your pink maybe hair. Maybe we should sh switch them up. Maybe sure. Maybe we should steal the shoes, and you should take these boots that I look like I'm going horseback riding with. Or a pirate. Or a, or a pirate. I like pirate better. Pirates are much better fit for me. Yeah. I went shopping. Way. I went shopping. Well, I went Christmas shopping. It started out as, let me start Christmas shopping. And then you went, no. And then I went me shopping. Did you get those shoes then? No, I've had these shoes. Oh, they're cute. I bought these shoes for a photo shoot over the summertime. And then I never used them again. And I saw them sitting there. You said, please wear me. Please, yes, please. and they looked so good with my brand new jeans. Very nice. You look so, great. You thank do. you. You lost like weight from the first time around when you started the show. And I saw pictures of you. From when you put stuff on Facebook about when you were like 19 or 20 or whatever. Oh, oh yes, yeah. so I was like 20 in the back of my pickup truck. You so. look younger now, I think, <laughs> than you did then. I was like, oh my God, is that even the same person? Like she looks It doesn't now. look like me. Not at all. Like I, I mean, like a little tiny bit, like a cousin of yours maybe. But I was also like 50 pounds. I mean, I lost like six, I lost like over 60 pounds yeah. in the last year and a half. No, but better. I was also 50 pounds even lighter than I am yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, everybody's. That much skinnier when you're 20 years yeah, old. Yeah, so it was fun to go shopping for clothes that I wouldn't have thought I would have fit into. But it's nice, you know. right? You get in the mirror, you're like, oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> damn. Check me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the girl, the, I said to the girl, I'm like, oh, you know, I need like a size 10. She goes, no, you need like a six and a four. I'm like, thank you. I love like, you so much. Oh my God. She's like, yeah, like a four petite. I'm like, uh huh. Uh -huh. It was nice. great. It was so great. That's yeah. cool. What did you do this weekend? Anything good? Um, well, I, I was shopping? at the Emporium, so I um, I shot, photographed, <laughs> I photographed uh, Ujiwawa. Oh my God, I love them! Yes, they were there Friday night. Yeah, so they opened for Badfish, and I had never seen them before. It's one of my uh, daughter's favorite bands. I didn't really? even know they were playing. Yeah, she loves them. I don't know. And I felt Badfish like or Ujiwawa. Oh, okay. And I didn't, you know, I felt like I needed a pina colada, and I need. To be sitting on the I beach. I know, right? They're just so chill and vibing out. They did a whole, that festival in um, Patchogue one. Like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, down on the South Shore. Yeah. They were so good. Very good. If you ever get a chance to go and see them, see them. Yep. They're a lot of fun. I was hula hooping and drinking and dancing. Oh, my daughter's into that hula hooping now. She's in the backyard like a circus freak. Yeah. I'm not I, that I good at I it. I don't get it. I just like the hula. We were, I was trying to hula hoop. Like, I used to be able to do it when I was little. Apparently, there's, like, different types of hula hoops. There's heavy hula hoops and smaller hula hoops. I and didn't know this yeah. until just recently. I, I know. didn't know this either. The weighted ones are actually much better to I do it with. I can't do it at all. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm horrible at hula hooping. I got to do one trick. I could get it up, and I could twist it around and bring it back down, and that's about it. No, you'd think with these hips that I'd be able to. These hips don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these apparently did. They lied to me. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard to do it. you got to get into a momentum. you got to get into a groove when you uh, shake it down. Yeah, and I tried. Once you get it, it, it's a lot of fun. It actually physically hurt. It did? <laughs> it physically hurt oh. me. I'm like, I'm done. I'm sweating. I don't want to. No, I'm I done. I'm over this. I don't, I don't, I don't do like that. shaking my body in this, <laughs> this awkwardness when it's not yeah, looking no. sexy. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> it's it's really to go. And it's not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see why you don't like. That's just and then awesome. Bad Fish opened uh, was the headliner. Oh at yeah, Emporium. And I the just sublime cover band. Yes, it know. was a sublime tribute. And I really don't get the whole mosh pit thing. The whole running around like a psychopath and yeah. smashing into everybody. They still do. They do that. They were doing there? it at the Emporium, and I'm just up there on the top rail, just shooting at the band and looking down. I was like mesmerized by the whole. By the Is whole. Is that thing. the first time you saw a pit? No, I mean I I 
been to Dropkick Murphys at the Paramount. Which or, is probably a much crazier pit than Bad Yeah, fish. and my wonderful friend Danny Burke, who owns Lo Long Ireland Brewery, picked me up and threw me in the pit. Oh. Yeah, I left there with many bruises. Oh, yeah, it's rough. I was like, please, somebody got to help me. <laughs> it's it's tough. when you, I went to go see Slipknot one year for Christmas oh. last year, and they were insane. These people were crazy. I, I stayed on the outskirts because I like to get close enough, but not to the point I'm too little. I'm going to no, get knocked I on my rear My bones would be broken. And there was this ginormous man in the middle just bouncing off of Everybody was just bouncing off of him. And there was just there. There was a fight. Apparently, there was one fight, and then all the bouncers just like shot. It's like uh, they wait. They, the bouncers. Yeah, you're not supposed to technically fight people, and yeah. you're supposed to be like aggressive. But like, if somebody falls, you help them up. Like, you don't attack them now that they're down. You know. I guess I don't. There's know. a respect of. The I thing, didn't get it. Anyway, we got some current events we got to go over. Oh my gosh, the Miss Universe pageant. Yes, yeah, are you Harvey. a beauty beauty pageant watcher? Do I look like? No, one? I didn't think you were. I no. mean, as a child, I was. Now I just I don't care. I just wait to see who the winner was. And, you know, I heard Miss Columbia won. And then five minutes later, I heard it was Miss Philippines, my yeah. country. Congratulations, Miss Philippines. Oh, you, were, you must have been a little happy. You were yeah. like, yay! yay! But watching the playback, did you watch the playback? I did. See, so I was like, ah. Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, we kind of made a little mistake. First runner-up is Columbia. My bad. Let me just take that crown from you. And That's what you're all feeling, though. Philippines. That's gotta be. Philippines going, I don't understand. I don't understand what is going on here. What do you mean? I won. Bitch, give me my crown. You know? <laughs> like, She's like trying to be gracious about it. Oh, my God. Give it to me. <laughs> Well, you know, it, that I love Steve Harvey, and I think he's hilarious. He's just so feud. funny. He's so funny, and it's sad. People make mistakes. Like John Travolta called whatever her name was Adele, um, <laughs> or whatever. Like shit happens. Like get over it. Yeah, it's not a big but deal. it's just so easy to make fun. It's just so easy to make fun of. And now the whole thing with the Miss Universe pageant is, you know, right after. The cameras turned off. Everybody rallied about around Miss Columbia because they felt bad, and everybody right. wanted to take her side. And they're like, "Oh, you're the true Miss. Amer you're the true Miss Universe. You're you're Miss Universe." But really, you weren't because he made not, a mistake. <laughs> he 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 said it out. He said the wrong thing. That's not what was on the card. It was Miss Philippines. So now Miss Columbia is on her Instagram, and she's saying that she is the true Miss Universe. Oh, and, stop! And then Perez Hilton was on Good Morning America, and he was saying how you know. Every single judge voted for Miss Philippines. Every single one of them. They did? They all voted for Miss Philippines. So they thought it How was rigged. How does he rigged. know? Is he a judge? He's a judge. Oh, he, he was. He was one of the okay. judges. So he's like, oh, I thought this was rigged. And then they realized it was a, a mistake. So Steve Harvey had to come back out. So in the end, um, <laughs> how they all just like kind of pushed Miss Philippines off to the side oh. and rallied around Columbia. It really wasn't very fair to her. But well, I mean, Perez, she got her five seconds of fame. Yeah. Now everybody knows who Miss yeah, Columbia the best thing, is. The best so. thing that could have ever happened to Miss Columbia was well, that she lost. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like, bitch, say thank you. I'm sorry. Same thing with Vanessa Williams. She got kicked out. She got. She lost her Miss America crown or Miss uh. USA crown years ago because she was in Play, Playboy. Oh, really? Yeah. And I didn't know that. Because of that, yeah. It was probably before you were born. Probably. Yeah. She, well, photos. Vanessa Williams is still rocking it. She is. She's, she's a beautiful still, woman. She is. She's stunning. Gorgeous. She's a beautiful black woman. She is. <laughs> <laughs> With beautiful eyes. That sings glorious So, song. did you see Star Wars? I did. Uh, I saw Star Wars. Oh, oh my God. God. And I'm, we're not going to say any spoilers here because I know there's plenty of yeah, people out there. Yeah, we can't do that. We're waiting for Christmas thing. to go see it. But, oh, my God. <gasps> it was so good. I can't have no words. I had chills the entire movie. I kept just, like, grabbing my seat, like, Oh my God! I, I, oh my God, I, 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 I don't want to say anything because I'm. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. The only spoiler I gave away, which was on on radio on Friday, which is the same spoiler that was all over the news, was Daniel Craig. Now, did you know that Daniel Craig was in the movie? No. Nah. You didn't even notice nah. when Daisy Ridley's character Ray was in locked up in restraints. She said, "She said to the stormtrooper, you will remove my loosen my restraints and leave the door open.'" Yeah. And he said, "I will tighten the restraints, scavenger scum." That was Daniel Craig. Oh. Yeah. If you listen carefully or if you see it again, you know. you'll be able to tell. I didn't know that. I did think the movie was funny. I thought it had a lot of funny. It did. It had little parts. little little moments. Han Solo of... was very funny. Yeah, did you see that picture that's floating around the internet of Harrison Ford is the only person that's happy and sad at the same yes! time? Yes! <laughs> 
face. The face. <laughs> like a cock eyed like mouth. Like <laughs> I was like, oh my god. That's awesome. My friend said that to me this morning. Yeah, I, like, yes, I, I did perfect. see it. I did see it. So I'm looking forward to March 26th of 2017 is the next movie. And right. then, of course, they have the standalone movie that's coming out as well. Oh, see that? I didn't know Yeah, that. Rogue One. Oh, cool. Good Star Wars stuff. I know, I'm such a nerd. My entire desk at work is Star Wars. I went to, um, I went to Target last night, and they had a giant, what was the name, BB-8? I have BB-8. You do? I do. I have the droid BB-8 that you control with your phone. I have the small one. He's about this big. And you control him with your phone. And he runs around at work. I let him roam all over the place. Wait, there's one you can control with your phone? Oh, yeah. It's an app. And he charges on my desk. And then I put him on the floor. And he interacts with me, knows my voice. And he just travels around the dealership. What? Oh, yeah. I need one of those. Oh, he's the cutest thing. He oh, talks. I he have beeps. to get one of those. He's amazing. He's actually, you can't find him right now. Why? Because he's so he's popular. There was a gigantic one at Target last night. And I was like, oh my God, how much is this? And the guy's like, it's just the sample. It's a you prop. Can't, yeah. You can't buy that. I was like, oh. There's actually two BB-8 droids out there right now that you can buy. There's one with the bigger, like, handheld controller that's a little bit bigger, and then there's mine that's the smaller, the oh, app one. That's the small one's probably fun, though. It is fun. It's a, little baby. It's, it's a novelty. I mean, his head pops off when he bangs the stuff, and you just pop the head back on. Aww. But you talk to him, you tell him to uh, explore. He explores. You tell him to come back. He comes back. You that's know. so cool. He's fun. I want one. You know, I, I scare the customers. <laughs> Every once in a while, I let him shoot out from underneath the vehicle. Fun. Bring them to I could just see you like, <laughs> 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 yes. it's all maniacal in your office. Like I'm gonna get you. He's a great character. I thought it was a great character. He was a great movie. character, and I really liked that. Um, you know, she didn't trade him for money. Yes, that was sweet. Yeah, on her part. Yep, Not for her all character. that money. <laughs> <laughs> all of that money. So what else do we have going on in current events? Anything I else? couldn't even pay any attention to anything else, unfortunately. <laughs> Because all I care about is Star Wars. That, that's fair. You know what? That's you a know. good enough reason for me. So in, in other news, we have guests that we're going to bring on a later, later on in our segment and after our commercial break. Um, Knock 'em Dead Comedy. They are all over Long Island doing all sorts of fun little sh- dinner shows and diner sh- di- 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 dinner shows. With, um, it's comedy related. It's uh, mystery related. So they do, they're going to explain to us all what they're all about and what they have in store. Um, otherwise, we'll be right back. You're watching The Gagoot Show on MadhouseTV.com. Hi, I'm Tom Mealy, one of the founders here at Madhouse TV. You know, people ask me all the time what motivates me and what makes Madhouse TV different than all the other internet broadcasting studios around the world. Well, I tell you, what motivates me are the people we get to meet, the people we get to help, and the the lives that we change by allowing their medium here at the studio. And I think that that's what my motivation is. What makes us different? Madhouse TV has been around for the past five years. We have a solid foundation. We've seen studios come and go. We've seen studios in basements, garages, shacks, little shanties all over the place, people wanting to do this type, of, uh, this type of media. This is the media of the future. So what makes us different? Here at Madhouse TV, our team, Tommy Marr, Vicky, Janine, we take this very seriously. This is not a joke. This is a very serious business. And to be serious, you need to spend money. And to need to spend money, you have to have the best equipment possible to make the best video and the best broadcast possible. And here at Madhouse TV, that's exactly what we strive to do. We've got a strong foundation. We're going to be around for a long time. You know, they look at me every once in a while when I come up with an idea and they say, oh boy, here we go again. But you know what? It's that, oh boy, here we go again, that keeps us the best. And we will continue to strive forward to do whatever it takes to be the best internet broadcasting studio in America. And i got to be honest with you folks, we're on that path. Over the past several years, we have had some of the top entertainers here in this studio. We've had lunch with people like The Who. We've had people in here like George Thorogood's Destroyers. Tommy Marr has been inspirational 
in bringing some of the biggest talent in the world right here to the studio. You know, that's what it's all about. Once you're the biggest, once you're the best, they're going to come. So we're offering all of you out there who want to have a, a shot at media, want to have a shot at being on television, give us a call here at Madhouse TV. We'd love to talk to you. Our prices are believe unbelievably reasonable. This is not CBS. We never planned to be CBS. So if you want to be on TV, you want to get your message across, you have a non-for-profit that you got to get that message out to people, people of hope, give us a call at 631-882-6900. We're here to help. We're here to have a good time. And most of all, we're here to become the best and the biggest in this business. Thanks so much. Hi, Jeannie. Hi. How's your eye? Oh, it's doing much better. Kiss. Some stupid... Country fan. Country fan. Country fan. Emphasis Kitchen. on the country fan. <laughs> that's horrible. Give her a nice <laughs> kick in the eye and give her a yeah. shina. I didn't even bruise, actually. No? It just well, swelled good. up. and. You look great, though. Thank you. Excellent. She's still looking good. So you guys have a group of people. That yeah. you work together with. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there's of you. There's a whole bunch of us. Oh there's there's like 12, 15 here? of us. Oh, there's 15 of you. So yes. Did come? No, all seven, all seven came, right? That we, yeah. Well, yeah, there, there's usually, uh, in our shows, there's six to eight people in each show, but our but all of our actors, all the people in the group total Overall, 12, 15, 15 people. Yeah. people. Right. Now, what exactly do you guys do? You go to di restaurants and where else? Like theaters? Restaurants, private parties, corporate events. Fundraisers? Did I say fundraisers? Right? Fundraisers, firehouses. Like improv troupe, or is it just there's a well, there's they, I wouldn't say improv, but there's a lot of ad libbing. It's it's okay. they're comedy shows, they're murder mysteries, they're audience participation. Um, we it's a scripted show because you know there's clues and hints that have to go out, but it's not a don't blink or you'll miss something. It's not Agatha Christie. You know, right. it's just it's a comedy. It's it's lighthearted, but one of the characters does get. Killed, right. and then the audience has to Get figure out who, who did it, it and why. Like and if it's a private party or a corporate event, we personalize it uh, to fit, you know, their event. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then the audience, I guess, not the audience. I guess it is the audience, of the viewers, the people, patrons, or whatever. They get involved a little bit with it. Now, do you ask the audience for help for them with the mysteries? Or yeah, they like, they solve it. All based, by themselves. Based on what they saw during the show, we even give them a little section where they can interrogate the suspects. Oh, that's and, fun. You know, huh? So we'll deflect, deny, point fingers at other characters, and but everybody makes the rounds throughout the whole room okay. and talks to people. What's your favorite type of segment that you guys do? Like, is it mystery? I mean, what, I mean, there's other things that you do besides yeah, mystery. Yeah, we do, we do game shows. Okay. We do corporate, uh, I mean, um, customized game, um, comedy events. <laughs> sorry. Right yeah. No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> that's all right. That's that's take your time. Take your time. Right. Right. Customized oh, comedy <laughs> shows and stuff like that. Um, like we're doing, I we're going to be hosting a, soon for a corporate event, we're going to be hosting their Oscar night. 
and we'll come on and we'll do a few five minute segments oh. in between their awards, you know, giving out of awards and so like it's so. their employee of the year, employee right. of it's the some month kind of or whatever. So right, whatever right. they want to hand out. Managers, yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's really interesting. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. We were going to work with you. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's we not We did a me. wonderful show at this place called, uh, what is it, Villa Monica? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we did. We did a show there years ago. It was a long time ago, I remember. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. That was, Trust me. It'll be almost ten years ago, right? Six. So. Six years? Six or seven? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> they put me in yeah. a very yeah, awkward No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, can you, what you like? You know what it is? Technically, I'm in not the one who pays the bills there, so you got to talk to the big man. Who's the big man? Nick, my dad. Your right, we'll dad? Nick, yeah. we'll give him a call tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait wait until after the holidays, because after the holidays, they're going to want to do something. My dad owns a restaurant in Long Island, Del right. Monaco Restaurant, if you want to go there for really great Italian food. Go. 661-5599. <laughs> <laughs> we worked in a nice plug. Thank Eric, you. Eric, 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 631. 631. Right. Um, <laughs> but it's not about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's about Benny. Where's Benny? Where's Benny? Benny is not here tonight. Benny is not feeling so well. Damn it, so Benny. we're, we're going to, um, you know, when he's feeling better, I he'll be back on the show. finally kicked his ass. So he did. hard. So hard. He's in a body cast. And he's I kicked, kicked, out I kicked of his ass right once. Now. I you kicked did? his once? ass once. We, were, did, we did a, uh, a ca cable access show 16 years ago. And Benny went on there, and he did his stand-up. And the the guy Don Sill, hi Don. He it was his show, and he had me dress up as a security guard. And when Benny was done, he's like, you know, take him off. So I had to grab Benny and then pull him out. <laughs> I told him he sucked, <laughs> but then dragged him out. So I thought this would be Benny's big yeah. revenge tonight. I thought he'd come oh. grab me by the nuts and throw me out of here or something. But no, he might sneak up on you later. Feel better, Benny. Parking lot. He's making you think that he's not here, but maybe That's he's... Right. He's, he's getting ready. He's, got yeah. his, he's getting his goons ready to throw you out. Yeah, exactly. He's going to kick me in the eye. No, no, we don't need any more violence. It's <laughs> Christmas time, damn it. <laughs> um, now, do you guys do any Christmas shows? Or of course. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. well, where are you doing... Do you have anything coming up that is going to be... Well, like? we're actually finished for the year. We've done a bunch of... Uh, Parties, you know, holiday parties. Are they are they murder mystery? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, they're all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. fun. Two game shows. The rest were murder <coughs> mysteries. Right, and then well, then then we have a we're working New Year's, but that's a private party out in the Hamptons. Nice. But uh, yes, yeah, so we're pretty much done with the holiday parties for the year. Now, how does one find like if people, our viewers, are interested in booking you guys or trying to do a party or booking of their own? They go, oh, this is sounds www.knockemdeadcomedy.com. <laughs> what he, yeah, what he said, knockemdeadcomedy.com. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Um, we've been, Knock and Dead Comedy's been around for almost four years. I had a, a, a dinner theater business for tw tw 10 years before that. Okay. And then I brought Eric on as a partner. Um, Where did you guys meet? Uh, well, we met doing this. Oh, you we did? Met, yeah, we yeah, met doing this. Doing this. Um, about 10 years now, Eric and I have been working together. Uh, I've personally been doing this type of theater for about 20 years now. Wow. And one of the cast members who are here tonight that you'll meet. She uh, she'd been doing it even longer. And how I would on an estimate uh, a month. How many shows do you guys do about a month? An annual and at any any given year we do about sixty to eighty shows depending on the oh, year. That's a lot. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're nice and busy. Yeah, we're busy. So strictly to Long Island and Tri-State area, or do you go? Well, well, mainly Long Island, but we'll we'll go wherever. wherever. We've, we've been to we've, Jersey. We've pretty much covered the whole Northeast. Massachusetts, Rhode Island, except oh. Maine. I think it's the only place we haven't been in the whole Northeast. Maine, right? probably. Maine? But all the all the states, yeah. in the in the in that area in the northeast. That's about it. Excellent. That's so. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. You're busy. You're doing yeah, good. So now you got good. 15. Now, the what do you charge? Like, do you have people come in yeah, for dinner sure. shows and you charge for? Well, like, they that's up to them. They, if a restaurant brings us in, you know, depending on what they're serving, depending on their menu, you know, that, that's up to them what they want to charge for ticket oh. prices. Yeah, the good thing is people hire us. We don't have to produce our own shows. Yeah. So people hire us, and then they set the ticket prices, had us, you know, whether they go on to their website to get a ticket or through a third-party website, or they just call and make reservations. So they set the ticket price. So one restaurant could be 50 another restaurant could be $69. Um, depends on what they want to charge or what they're giving for that what they night, offering. what they're serving. Yeah. Um, and then they just pay us our fee, and we don't have to worry about ticket sales or... I mean, we help promote them. We put them on our Facebook page. We send out an email to... I think we have 3,000 people on our email list. We oh, have wow. over 2,100 people on our Facebook page. So that's 5,000 sets of eyes that are going to see the restaurant that we're going to be at. Yeah. Um, so it's just one set fee. 
Right, so it's one set fee. It's one set fee. But we work with people depending on the size of the room. and If it's a fundraiser. Right, if it's a fundraiser, we obviously do a little bit more for them because, you know, if it's a firehouse, and we love doing firehouses. I mean, firehouses are great. You know, we know they need to raise money, so we lower the fee for them just a little bit. Right. So they get a little bit more, and then mm -hmm. they usually have us back every year. That's great. So, Did, Have fun. you ever thought about producing your own shows at all? Yeah, we toy with it sometimes. Yeah. And we're... I'm currently thinking about maybe trying something again. Yeah. Yeah, but every maybe. time we do, it's we get hired and you know Easy. it's Eight it's shows yeah. Right. yeah. So it's it's it gets it to be a lot, you yeah. know. So if we had to add now producing our own show and going out there promoting it and selling tickets, then we're taken away from the people who are actually hiring us. Right. I'm saying if you, you know, if you ever did it at a small like, is, can you do it in a theater um, setting? We like, can. Yeah, we can. It is. We've done There's it. so many we, little theaters we've done all over small, Long Island. We've done living rooms for a group of 10. We've done big catering halls. The biggest crowd we've ever done was, was 400. Oh, okay. Uh, so, you know, we, we make do with whatever we have. So, yeah, there's some theaters. In fact, we're... There are some very small theaters. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. that, she was in a play. I was um, in a play in Northport at the yeah. Bear Theater. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. Great I've place. heard about yeah. that theater. Yeah. Yeah, been, it's yeah, a yeah, great nice. small mm -hmm. theater. And then I just went to one at uh, Studio One in Lindenhurst. Did you sure. hear that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the one upstairs? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like cute mm -hmm. little theaters all over the place, and I just, just an idea. Thank you. <laughs> you know, to expand, I don't know. To keep, ex keep expanding. But like I said, if we produce our own show, then we're taken away from somebody, you know, who's going to try to sell tickets for their fundraiser or their restaurant, you know, or the business. And, you know, now we're eating into their own, into their ticket right. sales, you know. So if we're, especially if, if we book a theater in Lindenhurst and then all of a sudden the restaurant books us and the firehouse books us. Right. You know, now it's three times we're going to be in the same yeah. town in you know, a couple of months. Gotcha. And we kind of spread out the, the joy and the work a little bit. So. That makes sense. Hey, if, if it works for right. this way. Yeah. Right. It's been working for four years, right? Exactly. <laughs> Over 20, right? Well, Over 20, yeah. 20 for you 20, and yeah. four together, so right. there you right. go. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Now, have you have you ever come across a situation where like things have just gone horribly wrong? Oh yeah, <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Like, oh, no, Everything's gone now? perfect. No, we we've <laughs> gone to places and we've set up you know minute by minute itineraries and we show up and the whole thing has changed, and that's something that we have to learn to deal with. And you know we're right. we're there to pro to entertain, so we go there and we just have to go backstage and tell everybody these are the changes and. You know, you but go other times there. it works. Must go on. Yeah, but other times it works perfectly. We show up and the person's exactly organized, and they just tell us when and things work to perfection, and we walk out of there. And it's a great time. But Sometimes other times, legs fall off. Oh, that's right. That's right. One time his leg fell off during a show. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, that fell off right in the middle of a show once. He crawled. He crawled. He crawled. <laughs> I think she's pissing herself. <laughs> oh my goodness! I can't last that. week, last week she was spreading her legs. Now that that she's pissing herself. What is going on? Last hey, week you spread yourself for Justin Bieber. Oh my Tyson. god! That's crazy. Hey, listen. I saw that. Hey, what? In the I world? won't say my real age on air, but wait, I need to know about twenty-one. I know her real age. What's yeah. that Where'd your leg go? What happened there? I don't know where it went. I was hoping you could tell me. Huh? Holy oh, shit! <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Like the oh exorcist god. head. Oh, oh my god. Pea soup's about to come Wait, that out. That's, his that's true. The it, 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 it fell off. Twice, twice actually. In the show. It, it Once he crawled under the table with two legs, he came out with one. Oh <laughs> my god. Stop. This it's is true. so good. It's true. So yeah, oh. things go wrong. Yeah, they do. Oh my god, that's so funny. We're going to hold that thought right there. We're going to bring the rest of the crew on with cool. us. We're going to take a quick commercial. You're watching The Gagoot Show on Madhouse TV. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, everybody. How you doing? Uh, welcome back. We got our very first guest coming out. Um, you're probably wondering why the microphone is here. This is because our first guest is going to be stand-up comedian Benny Rizzuti. This guy has been writing and performing comedy since 19. He uh, performs all over Long Island, and uh, he has recently completed the vampire novel. He wrote it himself called Last of the Fangtooth Bastards. And uh, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Without further ado, the great Benny Rizzuti. Yeah! Yeah!
Yeah, it's great to be here, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, it's great. I'll tell you, I didn't think I could make it, though. I can't win. I had to make this emergency run to Brooklyn to pick up my uncles who were in the Sicilian parade. You might have seen it on the news. It's more like a fashion show, though, isn't it? Isn't it like a fashion show? You ever see it? This wraparound dinner jacket is modeled by Vinny Gardino Pizza Lovelli. And this pullover polo, you ever notice how they pull over the polo? They got one eye hanging out like, hi, Mom, bail me out again. Bring me balls. And the pullover polo was worn by Eddie the Slug Bigonosio. Uh. But Star Wars, what is it? 25 years, and it's still, people still think it's great. Personally, I thought the first trilogy was stupid. I hated the first, I hated the first trilogy. I got to tell you. Three movies, and they never explained how a virgin princess got the name Leia. <laughs> if I directed those movies, she would have been given a little nookie to the wookie. <laughs> and poor Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford. They were calling him Han Solo. Han Solo. If I directed those movies, his name would have been Dick Swollen. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, wait. No profanity here. Plus, oh. you suck. You didn't do this to Don. Get out of here. Get him out of here. My, oh, my. I can't believe it. Can't use that kind of language here on public access. That's just not right. <laughs> we got to get Benny back out here. We're going to talk to him in a few minutes, man, after this. And we're back with the whole crew of Knock 'em Dead. We have Steve, Caroline, Sal, Hello. Jessica, Tony, Linda, and Eric. Boom! Nice! Stop sitting like me. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> Come on, Beaver! Come on, Beaver! <laughs> Close your freaking legs. <laughs> Beaver, we got the Beaver! Sorry. <laughs> beaver, Beaver! <laughs> so we have the whole gang here. Well, not the whole gang, but most of the gang. Most, most of the gang. Yeah. And um, mm. let's start with you, because you're okay. right here, because you have that wonderful hat. And you're yes. Go ahead. Do you like the play with the balls? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're missing one, though. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> missing a ball. It's got one. Now, how long have you it's been a part of Knock 'em Dead? I've been with Knock 'em Dead. God, how long have I been doing it with you guys now? I don't know. I, I was with another group before this uh, that disbanded. I've been doing this kind of theater here for 17 years, wow. I think, on Long Island. And I think I've been with Knock 'em Dead for, what, five, uh, four years, I think? That's it? Yeah, More five years. No, five or that. six, I would think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. somewhere around five years, five or six so years. So I'd assume you enjoy it that you say. Yeah, I love it. I would, I, I, I don't tell them, I would do this for free. <laughs> it's so much fun. I mean, we have heard such that. a blast. You heard it. No, got I mean, it. it's recorded. It's recording that. I don't know what I say that. that. But no, I mean, <laughs> it's so it. much fun just going out and, you know, being these crazy characters. And uh, so a lot of times I have to dress as a 16 year old girl for a show <laughs> with a which unibrow, does usually. which I do quite often. I don't, you know, I try not to do that in my, uh, my in personal your adult life. life. <laughs> Stop lying. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. We have a great time doing it. Excellent. And yeah. Caroline? <laughs> I've been doing it for about six months, and right. About so you, six, oh, she's a newborn. Yeah. She's a baby. Well, I hate it actually. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm leaving. Bitch, sit down. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. I really would do this every single day too. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. You love what you do. Yes, yeah, yeah, I want to come back. That's mm -hmm. exciting. Caroline's yeah. also a fantastic singer. Yeah. She's been oh, out okay. with bands and. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you? Incorporate any singing into the show? There's yes. music and dancing, and oh yeah, it's it's a big party atmosphere, okay. really. So, so yeah, we put them to use. Take advantage You're of that. You're coming to our next show, obviously. <laughs> obviously, yeah. 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 you're gonna keep my hands Obviously, Mitch, you're coming. I'm gonna get you, bro. Yeah. You will be <laughs> there, <laughs> and you will love it. Bring it with me. I'm sure I will. Love definitely, you guys. Definitely. Yeah. So, you, you, I love you. No, she, that's okay. This one, she's I like, love you too. This one, she's got this accent. She's like, you I'm picking your ass. I saw you, I said, I love that bitch. I love that, I love that. I love that. I love that. And, I, I, and I'm going to, you look so familiar to me, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to. 
We out. performed at I'm our gonna father's restaurant. We're going to find out a way I know you from. We performed at your father's <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Were you there? I don't know. Did you do it? I would have remembered watching the show. Yeah, I wasn't you totally there. totally remembered us. All right, yeah. she wasn't there. Shut up. She wasn't there. Shut up. My nudge. My nudge. <laughs> Sal. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? I don't know why I became so Italian today in the show. Because <laughs> <Cheerful. laughs> here's what it is. Cheerful. Here's a thought. Watch hey, out for this yo, guy. So they walked in. I got no choice. That's right. How long have you been involved? I've been with with um, this bunch here for 12 years. Wow. Yeah, it's been my 12th year. Excellent. Yeah. Now, do you have a... My 12th if year. If I was doing a character, I would have been British. That's my character. Go ahead, Finn. It's going to be my 12th year. <laughs> Wait, do you have a character? Do you have a character? Do you British thing? I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> And uh, look at her. 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 I have been performing for a while though, but I'm new to Knock 'em Dead. Comedy. Right. How okay. okay so how, how long? long? How long with Knock 'em Dead? Yeah. Um, Yesterday. Yeah. Like two, two months. months. We'll give it two, two months. months. All right. Like six to eight weeks. Right. Yeah. There. Everyone's very welcoming though. I felt. Yeah. I feel right at I'd home. I'd be quiet now. Thank you. She's so cute. Look at her. They allowed me to wear this. This is my. I. My husband didn't let me wear this out the other night. Wait. 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 Shopping list <laughs> for her. He's going to be so mad at me. Yes. <laughs> Your husband <laughs> didn't allow you to wear that sweater. I'm just, we were going to a party, and I was like, should I wear it? And I was like, no, I'll feel uncomfortable. And he's like, okay, then don't wear it. Or whatever. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, that sounds oh, a little well, different. That's different. That's different. That's different. That's different. But I, I felt like he should have been more like, no, so wear it. You look, look beautiful in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's adorable. Oh, it's a great sweater. Yeah. I know it's very festive. It Do you festive. feel good in it? Um, I don't know. I feel like like a little kid in it. Sort of. But so I guess that's a good thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> you should keep yes. your child like in the same yeah. wherever you go. Aww. Aww. So many people she does so Aww. Aww. So, I know, I'm like too innocent she to be like married, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, she's like a little Whoville <laughs> child. Whoville. All right. Linda! 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 No, Linda, no. No, Linda, no. Linda, Linda, Linda. Linda, Linda, Linda. 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 How long have you been with them? I have been with Tony for a long time. <laughs> Actually, Tony and I have been, I've been with Knock 'em Dead Comedy for about 10 years now. Wow. But Tony and I were with another company that we were showing. What's the matter? What is that? Did you fuck up already? No. I was no, trying to be good. You're doing great. No, you're doing great. <laughs> Wants to know if you guys are an actual couple. Yeah, no. no. Yeah, yeah. no. I thought maybe you were the greatest bullshit. Awesome, awesome, awesome yeah. person right. in his life. And I'm married lo longer than everybody's age here on the show. Um, so I have been with Tony uh, at least performing. Well, that doesn't sound good either, Tony. Performing. <laughs> <laughs> to say it's about 20, 20 Are you being paid to, to perform? About, yes! <laughs> We're back in two We're and back two. I'm sorry. <laughs> about 20, 22 years, I would say, yes. But Tony and I are together about 20 years. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And then with him, with Mac and Dad for a... Uh, uh, as long as, uh, now, as, as long as that. We better run. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you guys a question. Now, you when you, you guys are scripted, obviously, and you, you mentioned that, but do you... Are there different characters that you guys portray? Or are you always oh, the yeah. same character? In we each? have a mob show. We have a redneck wedding. We have a high school reunion. Okay. So, yeah, we all so play funny. a variety of different characters. Uh, and going back to, from Milton Berle to Tyler Perry, uh, uh, wearing a dress, a guy in a dress always works. That's usually Steve. We have another guy who's not with us tonight. Hi, Nick. He wears a dress, <laughs> too. Hi, Nick. Um, and it's always a great visual it's gag the with the guys. Oh, yeah. so there's fun. been there's been a few shows where I've played I think every character, including the female characters, I'm almost every single character I think uh, in a reunion. 
think I've played every single one. So really? it's great. That's why I love working with them because I always get to play somebody different. Yeah, I'm always, it's nice. always a new. It's always something new. It's never. Uh, it never gets uh, stale. That's great. great. Except for me. Yeah, well, stale yeah, for me. Yeah, I'm tired. No rush. Why don't you? Why don't you show them? Yeah, uh, Tony writes the scripts. Tony writes the scripts. Okay. I get like, this <laughs> much. <laughs> this much input into the script. Yet somehow I'm always the gay guy. <laughs> it's typecasting. Do you do it good now? No, so I'm horrible. Are you the gay horrible guy? at it. I'm horrible at it. <laughs> it's probably hilarious that you're awful at it. Yeah. <laughs> So there you go. So everybody else gets the a variety. So I'm on a typecast as the Asian. It oh. <laughs> <laughs> always happens that way. I feel for you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Now, what's your favorite one? That you, is there one particular out of the mob, the rednecks? I'm sure we all have a different right. favorite one. Well, let's let's go ahead, hear we'll it. Change. What's your favorite? I have to say, I'm torn between Carmela and Wilma. Yeah. There's the mob show and our redneck wedding. And the redneck oh, okay. wedding is it's um they're. They're just hilarious, and those are my two favorite shows. Yeah. Okay. Redneck Wedding is my favorite. Yeah, yeah I, I gotta say. Uh, okay, I get to be kind of like a country <coughs> hillbilly girl mixed with a British girl, so I'm just very confused, like <laughs> a bag of craziness. I love yes. it. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. That's exciting, you guys. Yeah. Sal? Felony for me. <laughs> I love that show. Yeah. It's good to be it's a mom good. stuff. It's good I love the wedding too, though. Yeah. The wedding's a good show. Really, yeah. really a lot of. We've been doing that so long. Me and Tony, we play um, uh, uh, twins, the Juggy Brothers. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, yeah, we've been uh, doing that so long, it's back of the hand for us. It's, and it's, the show is guaranteed. It's 100% guaranteed fun. Totally. Everywhere yeah, we go, always. everybody loves that show. And the felony, you know, it's just a great, great, mm -hmm. great, you know, mob, you know, show that's uh, that we're really good at. That's cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the, the audience just, they just get so involved, and there's just such a part of the show, and that makes it even better. Don't don't you find <laughs> when, when the audience? At least you not push me into. I was just saying what you were saying. Okay, he was he was getting real close. He's, he's, that's him. Well, they have been together for 20 years. Exactly. <laughs> he's he's performing, performing. Um, don't you find when the audience gets, like, super, when you get the laughter that you really, like, are looking for and you, you get it from the audience, it just makes your performance even that much Absolutely. better? Oh, yeah. yeah which, totally. which I'm sure you are, you know, you get the same vibe, right? Yeah. You, when, you, it never gets old. You no. Just, and you feed yeah. off of it. Yeah, if they're laughing it. and you see the smiles on their faces and they're cracking mm -hmm. up, and you're like, okay, this yes. is this is going to mm -hmm. be so good. You know, you oh, just yeah. get even more into your right. character. Right. Yeah, because then you could take that character to the next level mm -hmm. and that's when the ad libs come in. Exactly. Yeah. And you could just keep going with a few jokes and it just keeps, you right. know, the roar keeps getting louder and louder. Right. And then, you know, you have to, what, if you ad lib and you go off script, it's your job to bring it back. Right, right. That's so cool. the next yeah. person knows what you know. The next person who has the line knows where to come in. How long do your show? Like, what is it? Like an hour and a half, two hours? That's exactly right. Yeah. About two yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. anywhere from ninety to one hundred twenty minutes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's just they're customized. If somebody says we only have this much time, you know, Tony and Eric will chop it down or extend it for yeah. however long. If they want us longer, we'll go two and a half. If sometimes they've <coughs> only hired us. For an hour, so we've cut some stuff. Oh, okay. So we 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 fit it into what they're what they're looking for. What's in, in the Flexible. range for them? And there's such a variety of things. We have songs. Yeah. We have games. And dancing. We have dancing. So it's just. What's yeah, the game so show? I'm curious. That's about a different it. thing, other aside from the uh, murder yeah. street. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the game show. We have a podium with lights and buzzers and sounds, and it's basically like a, a trivia game, game show. Or it right. could be, you know, again, we ad lib with that too. So. <laughs> They may want a trivia game show, but if we show up and they're a loud, boisterous group and they're a lot of fun, we could ask them to do funny physical challenges or do some karaoke <laughs> or whatever, or name that tune, whatever we feel like doing, oh, and they'll be willing to do. We will cool. we'll take it there. Yeah, I hosted so. uh, one of the game shows with uh, the other Steve in the group, and we got there and it turned out it was a costume party and everybody was dressed <coughs> as Disney characters. So I quickly just grabbed my phone and looked up some Disney questions, and I started asking them all kinds of Disney questions, oh, and it worked. Smart. Worked out really well. Yeah. Yeah. The the game shows do they get prizes or is there like a what, what do they? Well, win? sometimes if if we're at a restaurant, it's nice because they'll give out 
you know, maybe like a free appetizer on your next visit. So that guarantees oh, them a little right. you know, repeat business. Yeah. Uh, we'll give That's out maybe... That's up to the venue or you It's up to the venue. We'll, we'll give out maybe t-shirts. Or, you know, sometimes they'll ask us to give out prizes. Sometimes maybe A cash prize silly. or... Yeah. It depends on... Or something silly, venue. you know, like from the dollar store. You know, something just silly. You know, it depends on uh, where, we, where we are, who the client is. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. Well, we're mm -hmm. going to take a quick break. We're going to go to a commercial. And we're also going to play the video that we have. You guys, cool. so you guys Sweet. Get a little, uh, I'm looking over there. i got to look at this camera. Hello, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, so we'll be right back. Enjoy this video. We are watching <laughs> The Gagoot Show on ManhouseTV.com. Yeah. Daddy, daddy, please make him come to our party, daddy. Come on, daddy, please. All right, honey. Come to our party, daddy, please. Oh, that's my beautiful little girl right there. Oh, daddy, please. All right, oh, God almighty. Talia. Listen, I'll, I'll do whatever you want, Harry. I mean, Talia, just just stop yelling, all right? Just stop oh complaining, God, thank all right? you, Mama. I got 500 people at my house. That's right. Not like this little shit over here. I got a... I he knows love what it he when got. he acts like Tony Soprano or Vinny Barbarino or Yosemite Sam. What? Uh, that would be Yosemite Sam is real mighty. Yosemite. <laughs> all right, you see, I'll tell you the truth, all right? I think she hired this fruitcake to get back at me, you see, because Angelina and me, me and Angelina, don't call him a fruitcake. Don't call him a fruitcake? Yeah. What, what should I call him? No, but not a <laughs> I'm still a man, gosh darn it. You felt the vibration? Are you talking about when he hit me? <laughs> oh. I like it how to move out of your goddamn. You want to teach me? It's all in the wrist. Okay. It's all in the wrist. I'm not gonna practice. It's all in the wrist shit, though, when yeah. he works the head. All right. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> she liked it. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right, Angelina. As I was trying to say before I got a headache. <laughs> fat bastard. Come on, Angelina. You don't remember after we were done dancing, you and me, me yeah. and you, we'd go somewhere nice and quiet and we'd share a little cannoli. What? How does she know you have a little cannoli? Oh! <laughs> Look, everybody, it's the Kenny Rogers Hair Club for men. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know when to hold it. Know when to hold it. Know when to run Know when to run. You better count your follicles. When you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the deal is done. Woo! Yeah! All right. <laughs> Theme, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Really? No, she was fifth. No. Whatever. No. And we're back on the Gagoot Show. <laughs> With the crew from Knock 'em Out. 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 That's a pet <laughs> control. <laughs> What, how, how many have you yeah. done in two months? I actually haven't gotten a chance to perform in an actual show yet. That's how new I am. Oh. <laughs> so when is yeah. your first show? Maybe that's the first show we'll do. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. When is it, Tony? When is it, Tony? <laughs> 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 Tony, when's your first show? I don't have the schedule on my hand right now. I don't know. Uh -huh. Oh, but, but um, yeah, Felony, I was rehearsing for that and learning. The, yeah, the 16-year-old girl that Steve yeah. plays sometimes. <laughs> so Steve and I, are, I'm competing yeah, with Steve for a role. Yeah. yeah. How often do you guys Which practice? <clears throat> Once a week. Yeah. All you straight, you know, the, all year long. Well, what day of the week um, do you do that? Every Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday night. night. Yeah. Okay. Whatever shows we have coming up, that's yeah. what we work on. Do you on. practice oh. in someone's house? Do you... uh, mostly Eric's house. We sometimes rotate it around a little bit, mm -hmm. but usually Eric's house. Sometimes in uh, barns and sheds, on street corners, <laughs> <laughs> around barrels. Stream our rehearsal. Um, we did we periscope our rehearsal. At the beach. Yeah, yeah sometimes at the beach. Sometimes at the beach. Because yeah. all of our shows are always available. We let the client pick what show they want. Could so you say you periscope your rehearsals? 
Mm-hmm. We have, yeah. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love her. <laughs> Do you? I'm going to follow you. Go ahead. I don't know what that is. What is it? What Periscope is, is a new app. Uh, you yeah, might not want that. It's, it's a little it, weird. It's a video app uh, that you can go live. Really? Um, it's like Skype? It's it, it's not like Skype. No, you're broadcasting You're broadcasting live, live oh. to everyone in the world that wants to watch you. Oh. So I could actually Periscope this right now onto my Periscope app, and anybody who is on Periscope could fo- that follows me already or wants to see who is on Periscope at the time could just follow me and, right. and look to see And they can comment wait, wait as it's going they can comment and they can comment as it's going and, and also... I can talk while I'm <clears throat> Periscoping and they can type to you they can type questions to you but also you can name the Benny are you hearing this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can name the show like you could say like well a lot of people who put I'm naked in bed right now get a lot of viewers yeah. People just go on and click, and they want. Especially when I do it. Usually, yeah. it's, usually it's Obviously. Tony in the basement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they click. They keep room. clicking if they like, and all these hearts come up. And then they'll have little conversations with you on the side, like they'll say, "Hey, nice boobs." Oh. Right. And I'll be like, which "Thank is, you so much." Yeah. Which, is, which is the comment I usually get? Hey, nice boobs. Well, thank you. Yeah. 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 So you, you, it's just like tune it into someone's life at any given exactly. moment. Right. Yes. And right. some celebrities do it, and it's really interesting to watch. Yeah, like I <laughs> Periscope Bad Fish the other night, or a Periscope Halloween party. Was that? Like, and they talk to you. Yes, they talk. They they type talk, they talk to, you. to you, and you can yeah. you can talk back, like talk speak. And, oh. Wow. It's a pretty cool app. You could talk, yeah. speak back. Talk, talk, speak. speak. <laughs> you could talk, speak. You could yeah. talk, You answer that question yes. orally. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, well, um, we're going to uh, get close to wrapping things up here Aww. in a little bit. Uh, I know, we're having so much fun. Yeah. Is, there Everybody else? Else? You guys, is there anything that you want to talk about? Or do you have anything about the show that you want to contribute to our I, show? I would like to just say thanks before we, yes. before we go. Thanks for having us. Thanks for showing, having you. Thanks for showing the clip a minute ago. That was really Thank cool. You. Thanks. And, and Sal's a great singer, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Amazing. Yeah, like Caroline and Sal. No. Are you really yeah. Yeah. Sal belts out the songs at the end of the show sometimes. And go. And the people just. <laughs> you're on. Sal, you good for Sam Paul. No. Who? Oh, do you two do a, do a duet? Caroline and Sal. They have. They, they yeah. Have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why not? We can do anything. You got a little, a little something? You Jingle Bell Rock. Go. Yeah, a little Christmas song. What do you want to say? Jingle Bell Rock. Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama. Oh, yeah, do that one. Yeah, Sweet Home Alabama. Quick. All right. Sweet Home Alabama. Sings too. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh. Show tunes. Yeah, <laughs> mainly show tunes. Yes. I feel <laughs> what is that? Abba? What does he say? It's Abba. 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 <laughs> don't, don't make fun of vanilla fudge. Tommy Morrow kicked your ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> the um, I think I can sing. I just can't remember words. So okay. I'll start Except off singing. I'll start off singing well, <laughs> and then I'll just <laughs> and then I'll just mumble a lot of words. Oh, yeah, well, you start off singing well. Either, so, <laughs> yeah, that's a total waste. so I've, ta- I've taken to at some of the shows pulling the lyrics out of my pocket, and I will still. Mess the <laughs> and the words will be right in front of me, and I'll still mess it like, up. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm winging it here. People. It's just my kryptonite. I what about all by myself? <laughs> Give us a line. Do it. What? I'm not gonna hit all that. By note. Myself. <laughs> and cry a little. Do it. Never. <laughs> Never get out of here. Little oh BGs. Oh, oh, do, do you very? Oh, do you very? Do you very? So wanna be all by myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's my kryptonite. I Aww. cannot remember words. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah. Oh, it makes it so bad. He's, yeah, he's not saying. Yeah. No. So, is there no. um, is anybody doing now other than Knock and Dead? Does anybody want to promote anything else that they do? Do you have any other do projects? Any other projects that you? You have a show, yeah. right? 
Oh, yeah, I'm on a web series called Ask Holes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's on, it's on YouTube. It's really fun. It, it's um, a lot of different stand-up comedians, and we, we um, talk about different topics. Oh, really? And, yeah, it's really... <laughs> I think I, I don't do stand-up comedy. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A voice is changing. Oh. <laughs> and Caroline posts... Yeah, it's really, her, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were done. Sorry. Oh, no, I was just going to say, it's very funny. You should check it out. And then it I think it's channel? Yeah, on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's don't be an asshole. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, we'll get in touch. I'll definitely. I'm gonna check that out as soon as I leave Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Caroline sings in a band. Mm -hmm. Yes, I play in a couple of bands, and my name is Caroline Purr, like a cat, P U R R. And I have a bunch of stuff on YouTube and iTunes. And mm -hmm. Also, a lot of songs Steve, on there. does you still do voiceovers? No, not really. I okay, never mind. My wife, <laughs> <laughs> my wife said, "Don't be an idiot." Yeah, right. <laughs> That's why he only has one ball. His wife's got the other. Yes. <laughs> She's in North Carolina. Hi, Dawn. Uh, well, anyway, oh, that concludes our show here. What is going on? Oh, oh, my God. God. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? 16 years ago, you threw me off a show. Oh! oh. I wasn't going to get my revenge. I knew oh. it was coming. Come on, get your bald head of this. Get out of here!